Hello and welcome to episode 32 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough. And it looks like we have a science problem, as so many of you astutely observed last time. Yeah, we have two science, which means that uh, we need to turn all of our number crunchers back on. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And now they're back on and we should see this number start to climb once again. Unless these two are still off. Yep, they are. There we go. So that ought to solve that problem. But uh, last time we got the train operating and it is just a singular singular train going around a singular uh, track here. I guess we can just kind of follow it around. Uh, its chief purpose currently is to distribute grease is how we have this set up. Uh, it's carrying grease from our little production facility over here to the other side, which currently as its own district has 29 grease and we should see uh, whenever it makes its way around here again we should see a nice little drop off of grease occur and then we can have some more put in this medium tank for all of the bots over here but other things that might uh, m just maybe be a little bit of concern is that uh, we didn't connect these districts with the gates either so uh, let's fix that real quick uh, I did say that was going to be a, uh, a thing I was going to fix next episode. A couple of you caught that in the comments. So I'm going to put one of those there. And then we'll come back over here to this side and do the exact same thing with uh, these right here. So that should take care of our gate connections. Uh, we still have plenty of stuff happening down here. Lots and lots to get done. We started also uh, doing a little bit of blasting and terraforming uh, for this area here to produce some additional power but we didn't quite uh, get what we needed to get done done. We did start planting some uh, some oak trees here, though. And we discovered that the reach of the bad water was a little bit more than we thought it was going to be originally, and that's why we have our irrigation barriers going in as well. That's a pretty much permanent project at this point, just kind of going in. But there's other stuff we have to get done as well. Look at, look at the train going. That's just magnificent, isn't it? Uh, we've got to put in... Uh, the other tributes to Ingenuity up on this side. Looks like this guy is getting pretty close. Too far from... Oh, uh, I see. I see what happened here. I made a mistake. We're going to have to fix it. Because I did not put in a uh, an access correctly for them to get to the other side of this. Yep, that was on me. Are this still going to say too far to reach here? Yeah, because I put the uh, I put the power shafts in. That's exactly what's happened here. All right. Well, we'll just uh, for the time being, we'll just leave that there, and uh, we'll come fix that back up later. But one of the things we needed to do uh, once this was in place was to put in this corner here, and then also right here. Uh, just so. Oh, we didn't do the uh, the rest of this though. Okay. Well, we'll get that taken care of. Post haste. Come on. There we go. Get those guys put in there. And then hopefully we can uh, get a move on on some other stuff. Because we have all of these recreational things turned off currently. And we want to turn those back on. Uh, motivatoriums do seem to be up and running. Is that all four of them? Yep, all four. Uh, indoctrinating our beavers with well, whatever this is. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of leave that alone. And we've got all sorts of stuff to do down here. I did uh, get a couple comments asking me to do the... Uh, symmetry on this side like we have over here. That's a lot of building and a lot of tearing down. I don't think we're going to be able to do right at this exact moment because we're trying to get caught up with our bot jobs. So I'm kind of tempted to just let this run as it is and not worry about all that other stuff. We have plenty of other things to occupy our time with and all sorts of other stuff. Because we have also... If you haven't been keeping track, we have a need for excavators to, well, uh, excavate. So we're going to need to probably do that sooner rather than later because all of our dirt is going to be used for our, where's the uh, closest ones? Somewhere up here. Yeah, these mud baths. All these beavers enjoying a nice soak in some mud. Uh, they're consuming the dirt and we're going to have to get that taken care of. So I was thinking the corners that don't have the um, uh, these things district uh, centers i think the corners opposite those uh specifically like this one or the other one on the other side uh, would be a good candidate for one of these things because one they're going to hold some water 
keep these trees and bushes and stuff irrigated. And two, there is power nearby right here and right here should be not too terribly difficult to get uh, integrated. So if we come in with, uh, if I can remember where they are, there we go. The dirt excavator is just five by five with a little bit on top. So we could easily, easily do something like this and then just figure out how to hook up the power and be a okay. We could also kind of offset it like so, but I think I'd rather the hole be in the exact corner personally. So I think that's what I'm going to do is just pop this guy in. Uh, I don't think it will work if it's flooded. I actually don't know if it will. But uh, for the sake of... Oh yeah, no, that'll be fine. That'll be absolutely fine because as long as the entrance isn't flooded, it'll still work. Yeah, so all we have to do, make this nice and easy, doesn't have to be complicated whatsoever. And just pop that in like so, put a universal on it. And then this can get changed into a T shape. And then that can be a thing right there. And look, there we go. Perfection. And if we really felt fancy, we could go ahead and uh, make one of these into a universal. And then on top of that, we could put some of these uh, charging stations. I think that would be a smart idea at least. So we'll go ahead and get that taken care of. This can go here just fine. That'll go through that gate, no problem. We we'll, probably won't even need to mess with storage very much, I don't think. So we'll, uh, we'll let that be its own thing. Uh, it'll start doing some uh, water retention and then we just have to duplicate it on the other side. Okay, well we don't have to duplicate it on the other side. Ah, there's no power on this one. Oh, that's right, because when I went in to do this, I thought it was going to be the other way around. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do, is we'll just go ahead and uh, just flip this nice and easy right here. Shouldn't be any big deal at all. Just get this popped in. Now, this one is uh, substantially higher because of the way this has been hooked up. So we're just going to kind of let that be its own thing, not really worry about it. And then uh, hopefully they can figure out how to do all this. I don't think it's going to be an issue, but you never know these days. Okay, so that's going to work there. That's going to be quite nice. Up in our platform. And there we go. We'll have plenty of, uh, well, plenty of stuff going on as far as dirt getting is concerned. And the reason we're not having any more of these popped in, besides the lag not letting me click on anything, is most likely because we have... Can I really not click on these? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we can't get the explosives themselves, which doesn't make any sense because we have 1,200, but uh, remember the 1,200 is all up top. So we probably don't have our stuff set up correctly here for importing explosives. Let's just take a look. And either I can't read or okay no this is just set import if needed and I don't think this district actually has dedicated storage for the uh nope sure doesn't okay so we can fix that uh I think probably the best thing to do is just going to be to put a uh, a regular warehouse over here where it's being used and we'll just pop that in with some uh explosives these guys are complaining they have nothing to cut. Well, that's because there is nothing to cut because these trees have not grown and they're only at 29% the oldest tree. I think this was the first one placed in. So for the time being, I'm going to pause these, uh, not the bots themselves, the lumberjack flags. There we go. Those are paused. That'll give us a little bit of extra manpower, bot power, beaver power, whatever. We have three extras here. Uh, we take a look at our two districts down here. Yeah, 20 open jobs. That's not going to work here in Woody McWoodville. Got to get that taken care of. And this is pretty much balanced up here in the Beaverburg proper. We're going to leave that alone for a little while. But these guys have extra jobs, which I haven't quite figured out why that's the case. Because in theory, these two districts should be pretty much identical. Should not be any... Uh, any real issue here unless I... Oh, I bet it's because of all this other stuff right here. On these two that I've that I've popped in. 
Okay, well, if this one actually only needs eight, uh, we are going to have to figure out which one of these is in this district. It'll be um, not here. Did I put both of the... Uh... Huh. I somehow managed to put both of the dirt excavators in Woody McWoodville. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Why would I have done that? I guess it's just the way the pathing ends up uh, lining up. Oh, and this is already built too. That's a pain. And I really should have turned this around this way. Uh, has it started operating yet? No. All right. Well, time to make somebody mad. Let's delete that. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's flip this one. This one would be fine. But I will I will leave this here. Cause that's gonna be that's gonna be good to have that in place. We'll just uh, yeah, we'll just uh, do the the night the nice thing. Come on! Oh, that's not the R key. There we go. We'll just set this up like it was always supposed to be this way. And just deal with it. That's fine. Okay, so that needs to go here. That needs to go into a T intersection. There we go. Oh, and I can't forget this middle one I was going to make into a uh, universal so we can have a charger on top because you know we're going to have to have a whole lot of those. But yeah, I there there is going to be no no easily defensible reason to have them both hooked up to the same district, especially when one of them already has fewer jobs. And plus, this way that, that kind of matches. We can still kind of do the same thing over here, except... Uh, we don't have any uh, we don't have any engines built on this side, so I think maybe we'll just kind of uh, just kind of leave that alone and uh, move on with our lives. So that's fine. All right, and how are we uh, looking here? This is improving at all? Not really. We're waiting for logs, and they don't have any logs. What do you mean you don't have any logs? We've got tons of logs, I think, in this district. And okay, three logs is not exactly a ton of logs, and that's I think why we planted this. That's fine. We'll get it figured out. Uh, the science continues to climb. That's good. Because we are going to want to put in some control towers up here as well, eventually, uh, when we get a little bit further into that. But my primary goal behind pausing the, uh, the number crunchers was so we could store up some power. And it's still, it's still charging, but it's going to take a really long time to be full. Yeah, see, this is this is kind of what I was afraid of when this stuff was set up. Yeah, these these two need to be prioritized by haulers. That was something that I definitely missed, and that one also needs to be set to never stop. Yeah, I, some people disagree about how this should be run, and that's fine. Play how you want, but uh, I I think I want these to never turn off, just because we're using so much power. They should always be going, except this one isn't connected to anything else, so. Uh, it doesn't need to be running if it doesn't need to be used. Oh, this bot is over. Okay. Got grease coming in here. Our, our grease output still isn't really enough. It seems like we are kind of lacking. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that would definitely explain it because we don't have enough bots. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Um, did we decide minimum of 90 in Beaverwood Forest? Uh, it's probably not going to need 90, but the... Woody McWoodville is going to need, I don't know, like 110-ish. I'll just move it up to 100 for right now, because that's probably about all we have access to. Yeah, see, this one's 83. It's going to be, I don't know why it's 83. It should be an even number. But now that I've uh, rotated here, this guy has always rotated that way. This other guy has been rotated into this district. So the actual need is going to be 87 which means we have three extras here in Beaverwood Forest. Let me just go ahead and set that to 87. And then, uh, not Body McBotville, I want Woody McWoodville. Why did I let you guys name this? <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. All right, so that's all coming together. Uh, this is making its way here. Did we ever build the storage for the dynamite? No, we did not, because we don't have logs. Okay. I'm going to have to force import some logs, aren't I? 
I figured it would just... Yeah, it's no set to force import logs. I don't know why they're not... Uh, why they're not importing unless they just legitimately do not have enough. Huh. Alright. So other options we have as far as power goes. Um, a bunch of you suggested putting power wheels here. Yes. Uh, this is going to be incredibly powerful. Because this is all of the water on the map going out through these, uh, I guess, 12 on the uh, on the edges here. So that's everything coming down from the top, plus all of this bad wire. So that's going to be that's going to be some powerful, powerful stuff. However, for us to build power out here, we're going to have to we uh, have to figure some sort of other thing out because I think the way that I have this set up, yeah, there's going to have to be some blasting done. But we could absolutely, absolutely just kick butt with some power generation here. I think I can put, uh, yeah, we could put four of these here easy and just have an absolutely just diabolical amount of power coming out through here. That's probably, probably realistically the uh, easiest way to get more power is just to put a bunch in the outskirts here. Uh, but that's going to be an interesting problem to solve because all of these outlets are going to want to take the water away uh, before it gets here. If we add any sort of resistance. So, I don't know, I'm not entirely sold on it. I'm not entirely sure that's what we need to be doing, but it's probably going to be what we end up doing. Uh, in all honesty, we just need to get some other stuff figured out. These are crossings. Yeah, it, it's this is just a whole lot of building. And kind of, I don't know, it, it feels a little bit like this playthrough has reached the point where it can no longer just exist in its current format, just because stuff is going to take so long to do. So I don't know. I'm definitely not going to give up on this, but uh, next couple episodes probably going to have a whole lot of time lapsing. Not this one, because we, we still have enough to do uh, without diving too much into that. But yeah, it's... Um, I probably could play another five or six hours of this and not make that much progress in the grand scheme of things and then edit it all down into one thing. I just... I, don't, I hate cutting stuff out. So that's not the uh, the authentic experience of playing the game. So how are we doing here? Okay, they're waiting on treated planks. All right, well, they got some of these things right here to make them, so that shouldn't be a big deal. Other side I fully expect is not... Oh, okay. It's actually going. Well, it's not going because I haven't unlocked it for the... Uh... Ah, we got to have 4,000 science. Okay, okay. I see how it is. So we, we do have to wait for this to actually be usable. Well, that's a shame, because I was hoping this would hold some water. Yeah, we got 1,700. Can I uh, can I just pause some of these towers for the next uh, couple minutes? Yeah, just let this uh, amass a considerable amount of science. I'm not going to pause the bridges, because I feel like that's cheating. But the, the towers, these will work, by the way. Uh, if they're paused, the trains can still drive across them. So I'm, I'm not going to pause them for that reason, but these these will stop uh, sending out the boost if they are not uh, actively consuming the, uh, the science. Yeah, so I'll just... Uh, I'll just pause these. There's another one down here too, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so these uh, these eight... <laughs> these eight of, uh, eight of the control towers, we can just pause those for a little while and come back uh, a little bit later and take care of the rest of that. All right, so this one looks like it is ready, I think. So we'll go ahead and uh, remember which one of these is actually monuments. Um, which direction was that facing? That way? Okay, so this one's going to face this way. He says facing it the wrong way. But yeah, there you go. Yeah, the fun thing about this is it's going to take even more power that we probably don't have. But hey, I said I was going to do it, so we're going to do it. So that will finally get all of our tributes to Ingenuity in place. I still have to, you know, kind of unpause everything else. But that comes when we have more in the way of power generation. And see, like this right here, this is this is going to take a long time. And they still don't have any logs here. So I'm not entirely sure what to be, uh, what to be doing. How did I even have this up? I got these... Uh, Got these suspension bridges here. They'd have to get down in the uh, in the water to actually build these other pylons here. 
Yeah, see, I, I just don't know about this whole setup right here. I don't know if I want to duplicate it. But at the same time, we do have to get through something here. So I guess probably in the grand scheme of things, we might as well just, you know, shut up and do it. <laughs> at least build one of these things. So if I were to do that right there, there we go. Yep. We're just going to have to get these guys in here. All right. Six by ones. Done and done. Uh, for the construction purposes, of course, we'll have to put ladders in, then probably take them out later. I don't need that to go up that high. Thank you. Uh, how did we? Uh, how do we have this set up over here? I can't remember. I think this was just a. Uh, yeah, that was a two by one. Oh, I'm gonna have to redo that. A two by one platform and then a ladder, set to the side, and then one of these district crossings. I don't think we really need to have the giant district crossing there, but hey. It's fine. Uh, so this got to come off. That's got to come off. And then now this has to become the uh, two by one side platform. If I can click correctly. Yep, there we go. I come back with our choo choo. Oh no, the train can't run. It'll be fine. It'll be all right. We'll get this built. And they'll take care of that just fine. Uh, I think I had decided I was going to do, yep, just like that. And then. Uh, later on, take care of everything else. I am going to put the whole building here, uh, just so we have the, uh, what's the word? Congruency, whatever. So this right here will be just fine like it is. Just got to get these guys around here to actually, you know, connect stuff up. But that's something that's going to take probably a pretty good amount of time. But once this is done, and we actually have the uh, district crossing in place. I think that's going to go uh, a lot faster to getting uh, this stuff taken care of. They are just kind of struggling at the moment to get everything done. And for good reason. You know, it, it takes time to build all this stuff when you're super far away. So you, you kind of just have to, you know, uh, kind of get over it. These are the only ones I paused, right? I think so. Yeah, I just want to get that to 4,000 so we can actually have these guys manning, beavering, botting the uh, the dirt excavators here. Shouldn't be too much longer, but I, I do think in the interest of, uh, you know, actually accomplishing something, let's, uh, let's just pause a couple more of these real quick, and by a couple more, I mean an entire side, just so we can get that done. Oh, uh, yes, pinball noises. Please continue to just assault my eardrums. Yeah. So we have, uh, we've got all these number crunchers here. Uh, I could and probably should, in all honesty, uh, move some of these over to this side, clear up a little bit of space here if we wanted to do something with that. Uh, we could, I imagine, maybe, maybe just extend this canal a little bit, uh, put in some more um, uh, land here. We could probably easily get one more, depending on how we wanted to set it up. But uh, I do think I would like to try and duplicate at least the wheels on one or more other sides before we try to expand this thing. Because this is, this is huge. This is like its own kind of self-sufficient-ish district right now. Minus the whole wood thing. But you know, we're working on it. Wood takes a really long time to grow. That's, uh, that's just the nature of the beast here. So we're just kind of at the mercy of all this other stuff. And I don't know that they can really... Uh, they can really do anything else right now. So I don't think I need to worry about prioritizing anything. That should be should be pretty cut and dry. I'm going to see if we can do a little bit at the three times speed. I know it's it's choppier visually, but uh, it takes a really long time to do everything at the two times speed. Because there is a lot of stuff going on. Now, have we finished building the other uh, tributes to ingenuity? I don't think we have. Oh yeah, they don't have any of these materials. Really? They don't have any of these? No, they've got it. They're just not uh, not prioritizing it currently. Yeah, because this guy, this guy right here is sucking up all the stuff. The tree to planks are going to be a problem. They're going to be a problem for quite some time. Uh, but gears seem to be, you know, fine. Don't really have any complaints there. Um, I don't know what else we can really do, short of just uh, continuing to add stuff that's going to put it further and further behind. 
Let's come back around to this side. Because you would think they would start building these, uh, these like platforms and stuff here. I don't think there's any reason why they shouldn't be. Oh, okay, and they are. They're just waiting for logs. But I don't think the... Uh, yeah, we got 4,200 logs here. It really should not be an issue for them to bring some over here. I guess they're just uh, busy doing other stuff. How many builders do we have in Woody McWoodville? We got four, and then in the district center we have four. Okay, so eight's not bad. That's probably fine. They're just going to take their sweet time. Ah. Ah, yes. Okay, unemployed because he doesn't have any energy. But uh, I, I didn't think that was going to be that big of a problem. Honestly, we have, uh, we have a decent number of chargers. We don't have a ton, but... I guess their uh, their trek is maybe a little too a uh, little too long here. I did turn the towers off, but good news is uh, if I can find the correct thing again, yeah, we got to turn the uh, workplace on for bots. That'll take care of that, and then I can turn these towers back on. There we go. And of course, this district doesn't have any extras, uh, but science-wise, yeah. Let's turn these back on immediately, because that's going to let them go a whole lot faster. And I think there's just a couple more here. Alright, now what about on this other side? That is the dump that is paused. Okay, that's fine. Yep, just a couple more here, here, and here. So now those should all be turned back on. And we are starting to look a little better in the way of, uh, yeah, in the way of our dynamite being put in. Yeah, see, these guys now just have to come in and take care of the rest of this, and that should be okay. So we'll get that done, and then, uh, outside of that, everything else that you guys suggested I've either discussed or directly addressed. So I believe... What we'll do is we'll go ahead and time-lapse construction of this thing because that is going to take uh, quite some time. But we'll go ahead. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get that all situated. I guess I will uh, have to put in a couple of ladders here just so they can finish building the rest of this stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll time-lapse this. And then, uh, hopefully by the time it's done, we'll have everything else taken care of here. They, they do now have the explosive storage. So I will see you on the other side of this one. All right, so the bridge is done, which means that now we can come in, take this off at three times speed, and we can come in and put in our district crossing. I'm not going to use the small gate here because it only has one worker on either side. And uh, I think that's going to end up being a pretty uh, limiting thing for us. So we'll go ahead and put that there. Get that hooked up. And that, hopefully, once this is done, uh, should allow them to come in here and do everything they need to do. What we need to do right now is we need to come in. I guess I just need to have a... Uh, yeah got to make it so they can actually get to these because up until I put this in this was outside of the range of everything but we can put that in place uh, these triples right here can probably already go ahead and uh, get blown up but there isn't a reason to specifically wait did I did I miss one I did I absolutely did okay so that triple dynamite needs to uh, get put in here as well yeah uh, so this being a triple and not having any right here, uh, like I said before, if you uh, don't remember, is because of how I have this set up here. I have a little bit of a uh, a little water folding thing for the exit, so that can uh, make its way through a little bit quicker. So that will have to have one other uh, instance of uh, dynamite put down there to create that for us. Should not be a big deal, Just this just has to get done first. So it looks like this is just about finished. It shouldn't be too much longer than that'll be in place. And we should be in a pretty good spot. I'm going to leave this uh, ladder and this here in case we need to do more stuff down here. Uh, like power transmission. Like we had kind of done on this other side. 
I'm not entirely sure how it's going to end up working because uh, this structure we have right here does not currently exist in the same way on this side. I now have a, I think it's in about the same spot, but it's higher. So we, we do have the option to create a slightly different uh, implementation of that. But it's not, not quite there yet. What are we getting, waiting on three logs? Come on, come on, get these things in here. We got stuff to do. I want to have more power generation happening before uh, too long here. But what I can go ahead and do uh, while we're waiting on that. Okay, so this is actually, this is actually one block further over based on how this, I think, was set up. Yeah. Yeah, because this on the other side, I would have to have, because the way this is put in, I'd have to have this whole structure be kind of a, a separate deal. Still might end up doing this, the same exact thing here, with the triple platforms and then the uh, power shaft bridges on top. Because I want to put in more framed flywheels, and then we don't have to have... Okay, come on, lag. Uh, we don't have to have every single thing like this. I'm just going to build this framework, and then we could just connect it like that. With those exact same sound effects. So now what's our... Uh, yeah, see, that's coming in there. I mean, this path should be in the same exact spot. I just need to have that slightly to the left, like so. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be... Uh, it's going to be interesting. I guess it doesn't have to specifically match. I can I can have an extra space. So I might as well just have this go out uh, one more. I could even, honestly, if I really wanted to waste my time and yours, I could just demolish all of this and move it one, uh, one block over. But I think coming right out of the, uh, the engine like this and just straight across is probably going to be a little bit nicer looking. And we'll, uh, we'll want to make uh, use of that. So in... Uh, so doing, let's check this. We got right here. So this right here is going to be... I do need to pause so they don't actually build this. But that's going to be the route that our power uh, power and transmission's going to end up having. Our flywheels, the large vertical framed ones. I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. Uh, I think if I put that right there, is that the same offset? Yes, it is. Okay. Yeah, so it just needs to have that two height to uh, connect there. So what we'll have to do is that will have to be like this. That'll be the end of that. I think it was um, these two in the middle. Yep, that sure looks right to me. We'll put in two and two. And then this, of course, is going to be the shaft bridges. I believe the six span. Yep, you got it. And then that just has to go up on top of something else won't be too terribly hard. And then once that happens, we just have to uh, hook it up to something else. Yeah, so this I'm not going to build right now, but I will unpause this so they can get into all of that. Yep, and we'll just have this come straight over. And I think the easiest thing for us to do is going to be to uh, just pop in a whole bunch of mess like this. Uh, double platforms as well, uh, because you can't build up on a ladder more than twice without having to have something to stand on next to it. So that'll work out just fine. We'll get this situated here. I need a total height of five. And this, this nub is three. This nub is, no, this nub, the nub is four. I'm sorry. Yes, the nub is four. The little recess is three. So then I just need to have a double height. Yeah, there we go. That will end up being our bridge here. Beautiful. And then I just have to have something else uh, come in that way. So I don't think I need to worry about building anything else under here. I'm just going to use this double platform like so. I think that's going to be fine. Uh, Bridge-wise, that's going to be way too much. I need it, I think, to be a four-span. No, three-span. I lied. So three-span. Ah, uh, it's not going to be the three-span. Because that is not going to be quite enough. It's going to have to be the two. Yeah, because I have to have a uh, I have to have an interconnect. So if I did that, this is going to be ugly. But hey, what are you going to do? I could also, instead of doing this this way, I could step this down just a touch. 
But, uh, you know... I, yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. It's fine. So that right there, I think I'm going to have to do... Yeah, see, that's going to work just fine like so. Oh, we got a drought coming. Okay. Well, I sure hope we can make some power by the end of this. That's going to be... Uh, that's going to be fun if that's not the case. Okay, I, I created a little bit of a monster here. I really need I really need these to go off so I can blast the rest of this. We got three days. Got three days. Hopefully it's not going to be that big of a problem. Uh, but the problem I was running into here was I needed to have a uh, needed to have a connection here, here, here. Now if I can have see if this was just mm, the the way this is implemented, I really shouldn't complain. Uh, I love this mod so much, but. But this is going to be a... Oh, it's going to be a pain. Because I'm going to have to have... This here and here. Yeah, it's not beautiful. If you have a, a better option, I'm all ears. But um, I think for right now, this is just going to kind of have to be... Uh, how this is. Not really any way around it, unfortunately. Oh, and I did a boo-boo here because this is just a regular track and I don't have the ability to get across it. Okay. You know, you'd think I would have uh, would had a better grasp on how this was supposed to be set up. Well, nobody's perfect. Yeah, see, this is just... Ugh. It's just rough, man. <laughs> that is a uh, not not a very beautiful implementation. Is this even set to the? Okay, it is. All right, all right. Let's uh, let's set this off. Because this is, remember this isn't even going to work until we have all of our everything put in. So that's got to be like that, and then I got to put the uh, the other things here. Yeah. Oh, it's a good thing these bots don't care. <laughs> that's gonna be a that's gonna be a whole thing. This needs terrain blocks. Uh, oh, you know what? I'm dumb. I have all this terraforming happening here, and I didn't even put in, didn't even put in a thing to hold dirt. That's embarrassing. That has wasted a whole lot of time. That's wasted a tremendous amount of time. But hey, you know the way things are going over here, it's it's not gonna be a fast process. We're just gonna have to kind of get over that. Hey, right, that's what that's what happens. I gotta figure out how to get guys over here though. I guess the easiest solution is to just. I don't know why I went in there for a crossing path. Yeah, just put this in here so they can get across, and then I'll just have to uh, just have to bite the bullet on the ugly and just uh, move on. That'll be fine. Get these guys to build stuff. I'm not going to get it done overnight anyway. But now, friends, I guess that's pretty much where we are. Is uh, It's going to be another one of these time lapses. And I said I wasn't going to have the entire episode be time lapses, but hey. What can you do? I think this is still waiting on... Oh, yeah. metal. We shouldn't be out of metal blocks. That shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, what's up with this? Um, Do I, do I seriously not have metal... Oh, sheesh, I got so much storage. Do I really not have any metal block storage up at the top of this? I'm, I know I do. They're just not... Uh, they're not importing it. I wonder if I turned that off. No, it says import if needed, and they're needed, so I'm not really, uh, not really sure what's up with that. But I think we are at the point now where... Let's see, do they put these in? Okay, we're waiting on that one. We're at the point now where I pretty much just have to time lapse this and try try to accomplish something. And it's unfortunate timing in a drought for this to uh for this to be a thing. That is really uh really rather unfortunate, but hey, what can you do? Not really much of anything you can do, so that's uh that's where we're at, folks. I'm gonna time lapse the rest of this and then we can at least uh start the process of constructing other fun stuff like the large water wheels and then uh move on from there because we've got uh 
quite a bit, quite a bit of stuff that we want to get done. And we're not going to be able to do it if we can't, uh, can't get all this stuff situated. So well, we know we can do this. So that's done. Hold on. Did I do a, uh, did I do a stupid here? I almost certainly did. Oh, no. Okay. No, I had that. Um, wait a second. Are these not the same depth? No way. No way. Uh uh, no way. Oh, that's gonna tilt me so hard. That alright. I got four here. And that's on the very last bit of land. And this is on the land still. Yeah, so if I come over here. Mmm mm 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 mm. That Oh, I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Either that or I'm just actually stupid. Alright, false alarm, I'm just actually stupid. We're good. I was about to say, oh, they did not make this map wrong on purpose. No, no, there's nothing wrong with the map. It's all me. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to do another time lapse here and we'll uh, we'll at least get this kind of kind of rolling. It's not going to be able to do much during a uh, during a drought, but hey, it is what it is. You take what you can get. Yeah, I will see you on the other side of this one. All right, and finally, at long last, I'm going to take this out at three times speed so I can actually use the game, but uh, we have one bank of these wheels. We have it all connected power-wise up to here, and it is all connected wonderfully. The only problem is we don't have any uh, ability to flow water through this. So what I'm going to do, uh, just for right now, is I'm going to go ahead and do a triple dynamite right here and right here. And what that's going to do is allow me to put in these metal floodgates that we had uh, previously used. I got the too high floodgate will sit very nicely right here and always allow at least some water in and we can put a path right on top of it. So that is what we're looking at doing right now. Just going to get this all situated. But the, uh, the main thing, like I was talking about earlier, is uh, I want to eventually have this all completely connected uh, like this is down here. We're not going to have nearly as much going on. Uh, on that other side, it looks like we need to turn some of these uh, some of these bad water pumps back on. Let me just go ahead and uh, get two of those back up, so we don't forget. Oh, we've got uh, we've got trees to cut down. Nice. Yeah, let's get these guys in here and uh, take care of that. Uh, but eventually, the goal is to have these uh, flywheels here. I just put these power shafts here, so we could use this literally at all. <laughs> but that's uh that's how that's looking. Hey, oh, is this not uh is this not saying it's connected? Well, that shouldn't uh Oh, it's okay. It's cuz I got 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 rid of these. All right. That's on me. Well, we'll go ahead and uh let them take care of that. But uh, I did as you could see during the time lapse have to put in a whole bunch of other storage for things here. I got one for logs, a dirt, which they still haven't started filling yet, so I guess I'm going to have to do something about that. Uh, gears and dynamite and all that fun stuff. I put a couple chargers in. I'm going to put a couple more, but I didn't want to overbuild this quite yet because I don't know uh, when I will be able to put in the flywheels, and I didn't want to have to take a whole bunch of stuff out. So when time comes time for flywheels, I might actually start at the back and work my way forward. Uh, just depends on what we're able to get done. But before we're finished today, I did want to make sure this got blasted out so we could start using this for power because we went through the entire drought building this thing in the first, like, I don't know, five days of the temperate cycle. So we, we've got quite a bit of work cut out for us here. Fortunately, go ahead and let this out and then these are gonna start rotating and we're gonna start making a little bit more power. It's not gonna be a whole, it's not gonna be a ton until we can get everything uh, completely fixed where it's uh, needing to go. Thank you, uh, email client, for sending me spam mail. I guess at this point it's kind of a, uh, kind of a tradition. I probably shouldn't get rid of it. 
but it, it is kind of annoying. Anyway, we'll put these uh, floodgates in here, and then I can finally feel good about coming over on this other side and uh, putting the rest of these wheels in place. Uh, but that was the idea behind what I wanted to get done today, is to at least have some additional power generation happening here so that we can come upstairs and, well, turn everything else back on. We've got quite a lot of... Uh, oh, hey, look at this. Nice. Getting a bunch of dirt. It's in power-saving mode because of reasons, I'm assuming, but... Uh, it still doesn't look like they built these. Wow. All right, so I don't know what the supply issue is here. Because this is essentially exactly what it was before. I don't, I really don't understand what's going on with this. Where is my, because uh, clearly I have, I have storage for metal blocks. I've got storage for logs, treated planks, planks, etc. I So I don't, I don't know what's happening with the metal blocks. If I've blocked import on those accidental, let's click on the correct side of this. But that doesn't seem plausible. Yeah, no, it says import if needed. I guess I'm just going to have to hit import always. See if that fixes our problem. But yeah, I was hoping I could have the rest of this uh, all dealt with, all taken care of. But I guess that's not meant to be. Yeah, this is still charging. I'm going to let these charge a little bit more. But we will come back and turn all the uh, fun stuff back on. The well-being is already up to 41. Oh, wow. I didn't even pay attention to how many bots we had. Okay, hold on. No, we, we, can, uh, we can solve a lot of our problems right now. Got 19 empty slots. Uh, no, I don't. Now I'm going to have in Woody McWoodville, I'm going to have 110 bots. And by 110, I mean I've got nine more vacancies, so it's going to be 120. Beaverwood Forest probably is still looking okay. Yep, spotless. Okay, so that's fine. And how are we looking down here? 42 extra bots. Okay. Well, you know... Oh, you know what? You know what? My stupid self did not do. I did not mark. <laughs> I did not mark all these trees for cutting. All right. Well, now they are. I definitely should have done that. Fully expecting to see at least one comment saying, hey, you forgot to do that in the uh, video when this goes live. And that's fine. You guys keep me honest. I always appreciate it. I'll look at them. They're, they're like kind of synced up for a second. That looks cool. Well, anyway, now we're going to have some logs down here. That should make things co- uh, considerably faster. Yeah, look at that taken care of. But uh, I think we can consider this to be a win for today. Just uh, getting this little bit in place. And it, like you can see how much time passed during the time lapse. This is a very long process. And uh, I think we're probably firmly at this point in every episode is going to have a very long time lapse territory. I mean, the time lapse in the end product won't be very long, but it's going to be, I don't know, between... 30 minutes and five hours on my end to try and uh, time lapse stuff. But you know, that's what you do. You got to get done what you got to get done. And that's just the way it is. So yeah, I will go ahead and leave it here. And we can pick up with this again on Sunday's video. But I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these and follow along this journey as we attempt to uh, do just about everything we can possibly think of in this playthrough. So as always, if you have any ideas, comments, etc. Do always leave those. I always read the comments. Can't always respond, but I do always make sure I take notes of what you guys have to say and keep your thoughts and feelings into consideration because, as I say, it is a let's play, not a watch me play. And I uh, very, very much enjoy the interactivity aspect of it. All that being said, it is time for this one to end, so thanks for being here. Thanks, Beard Boosters, as always, for your contributions. And I look forward to seeing you again soon for another episode of this series. We've got Penguins tomorrow. And soon, Water Briefers Update 5, whenever I can get comfortable enough with that to uh, go ahead and start that series. But we're going to have a whole lot of fun with uh, all the other fun stuff coming out. And a couple of games I'm looking at, too, that are not uh, anything we've currently played. So I will look forward to seeing you there. So whatever it is you're doing with the rest of your day, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.